Another thing in the row set though that's cool is what they did for here is even though they have one line here that says sales details, when I run this report, let me show you, if I actually go run this, and I'm going to run it, we're a little bit dated on our demo with this, but if you notice, I, I had one line that was called sales details, but what this is doing is it's automatically breaking out any account in that under it that had um, sales in it. And the way I did that, there's something here in the row set again. And if I look under my data source right here, even though I have this one line that has this description, instead under here I said expand this line. So using the expand field in the data source, I said expand the line to account because I could do it by sub account instead. Um, but I'm going to expand it to account and the row description I should have said instead of not set, I'm going to have it just be the description of the account. So I should do that. Watch what happens. So I'm going to save and close this. Let's just run it real quick again. See what we get. It's a good way to take one report if you've created. Um, and by default, it takes the description anyways. But if you've created one summary report, just take a copy of it and go into every line and do the expand. And all of a sudden you have a detail report that should tie back to your summary report. So you could have one row set that's called PL summary and then another called PL detail. And the detail would have all those lines expanded. So let me just show you real quick to explain if I was doing it by sub account, let's see the difference. Now I'm gonna do it by sub account. And this time I'm going to show code and description just to show you what that looks like. Let's hope we have some different um, sub accounts this month. Not sure how that booked, how the GL number is booked, but it should have some. Yeah, so here instead of now breaking this out by um, revenue accounts, natural account, I'm breaking it out by my sales by department. So that's a really quick way to see, okay, here's my sales, but let me see my sales by each department. Or I know you guys are probably thinking that might come in handy a little bit more when I'm trying to do expenses by, by expense cost center or department. So it's a quick way without having to add each individual line in the row set. I just said expand this line and um, put the, the code and the description there. So that's what all of these guys just did. Um, Note when you do that, you do have to have like a still a line that's a caption as a heading here, and you do still have to add your total. It only adds the detail in the middle.